The Honourable Member for Abbott Metal Arc, followed by the Honourable Member for Calgary Buffalo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have received hundreds of letters and emails that many concerned constituents and community groups in my office attended several public meetings about a very important issue. My constituents have asked me to raise in this assembly their issues with the proposed Heartland Transmission Project power lines along the West End TUC. My constituents aren't questioning the need for transmission infrastructure. Rather, they're asking for consideration of their request for the power lines to be built in a safe and responsible manner. My question is to the Minister of Energy. What is the Minister doing to address the concerns of my constituents regarding the siting of high voltage power lines in highly populated areas? The Honourable Minister. Well, thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, first of all, I want to make it very clear that the government is not involved in the siting of transmission in the province of Alberta. Mr. Speaker, that uh, rests solely with the Alberta Utilities Commission, a quasi-judicial body that holds open public hearings with respect to the siting of transmission lines. Uh, Mr. Speaker, that will continue whether it's in the Heartland area, in the Edmonton region, or anywhere in the province of Alberta. The Honourable Member. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My supplemental question is to the same Minister. Many of my constituents feel strongly that bearing this line would significantly reduce the health, property value, and aesthetic impacts of the overhead 500 kilovolt lines. What is the status of the study commissioned by the Minister on the feasibility of bearing transmission lines, and when can we expect the outcomes of that study to be made public? The Honourable Minister. Uh, well, again, Mr. Speaker, actually there are two studies that are underway. Uh, my department has commissioned uh, a study by Stantec. Uh, they're an international engineering firm uh, based here in Alberta. Uh, and they will look at the options of underground transmission as they relate generally to the province of Alberta. They have expertise uh, that uh, has been looking at the options uh, here and uh, in other places uh, in North America and uh, around the world, I believe. Uh, and I ex I'm expecting that uh, I would have a report from them uh, before the end of this year. And in addition, Mr. Speaker, ASO, the Alberta Electric System Operator, are also doing a study relative to underground transmission as it would relate to the Heartland region. The Honourable Member. Again, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My final supplemental question is to the same Minister. Will the Minister support the burial of transmission lines through highly populated areas, mm. some of which include schools, homes, daycare centers, and hospitals. Wow. Yeah, I'm yes. um, first off, Mr. Speaker, again, I think I should make it clear here that uh, that Health Canada, Health Canada, have found that there is no significant link between overhead transmission lines uh, and human health. I know the honourable member uh, is a doctor and would be aware of the information, I'm sure. Uh, Mr. Speaker, also, um, I would like to point out that burying lines does not necessarily eliminate all of the things like electromagnetic field. Even though the levels are safe, uh, the issue will remain. And uh, any time, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, that, you, uh, that you terminate uh, or transmit uh, electricity through wires, you will have this issue.